In this video I am going to show you how to deploy ELK stack on Kubernetes. Firstly, what is ELK stack? ELK stands for Elastic Orkstash Kibana. Let's dive deeper into each of them. Elasticsearch is a scalable search and analytics engine perfect for data-driven applications. It can be used as both log analytics and application worm database. Diving in the infrastructure of Elastic, its main components are nodes, shards, and indices. Nodes are servers which basically run Elasticsearch binary, whereas shards are a logical division of database space for faster data accessibility, and indices are there for data structure. It will be easier in practice, trust me. So let's proceed to the part of configuring the OCA stack. Firstly, we need the Kubernetes cluster. I assume you already have it, or you can just go to the link in the description and get my GitHub repository with all the Terraform uh, files for EKS cluster setup. Uh, secondly, we need Elasticsearch cluster. It can be easily deployed with Helm chart, but we need to make some modification to the values file. Let's deploy Elasticsearch cluster. First, what we need is to go to Artifactory Hub cluster and search for Elasticsearch here. After that, we need to download default values file and make some modifications. Download it and here we can just make replicas a little bit less. Instead of three replicas, we place here one because we don't need that much. After that, go to the same web page, click install and copy the command. Paste it and add dash f in order to get our elastic search values modifications. Click enter and after that you will have working elastic search cluster. There can be some problems. If you didn't configure EBS, the SI driver or EFS driver, it will say that timeout for uh, creating persistent volume failed. So you just need to search how to install uh, EBS volume on Kubernetes and you will be fine. After we deploy the Elasticsearch cluster, we can deploy Kibana. To do it, it's just simple command helm install with values kibana file. There we specify the path to Elasticsearch and its port. Usually it's 9200, but in your case it may it be some something else. Also an important uh, part is HTTPS or HTTP. It depends on your Elasticsearch configuration as well. If you say that we need a certificate like here, create certificate, then you need to use um, certificate for talking to Elasticsearch. Otherwise, use HTTP. To check if Kibana working, we can port forward to local network. After that, we need to log in into Kibana, so we can take credential from secrets and in a classic search master credentials config map.
Currently we don't have any data here, so it will be just a plain screen. The next step is to deploy logstash and uh, file bit. Let's start with file bit. In the config map, we literally don't need to change anything. Everything should be as it is, except one very important part is to check if container logs is in this folder on your node. To check it, we go connect to the node. Go to this folder var log and here we go to containers and see if we have some log files here. If not, you need to find your default uh, logs file folder. So let's deploy file bit. File bit is deployed and we can see some logs here. So it says it can't go to the TNS because no such hosts is in logstash. But what we do now is we need to change the password for our logstash in order to deploy it properly. We go again to the secrets, copy the password, paste it. Here is basic configuration, nothing crazy. And now we can deploy logstash. Take some time for stash to start running. After stash up and running, we can go back to the elastic and navigate to the stack management. Here we can find index management. Here you should see logstash indexes, which were configured with logs. So next we go to discover create data view and here we should specify logstash index pattern save it and now we should see our logs that's it we deployed yellow stack on kubernetes Frankly speaking, Elastic struggled to work with large stream of data, so it would be an overhead to configure the application itself to stream logs into Elasticsearch. Therefore, we need to use some tool to store logs and send them into one accumulated bulk. I'm going to use a combination of FileBit and Logstash. FileBit collects logs from pods and parses them while Logstash sends these gathered logs into Elasticsearch database. Function decode JSON fields parses JSON input from files which are taken in the default uh, Kubernetes log directory. It can be default pass as var log containers, but in your case it might be slightly different, so Make sure to, uh, to check it, because uh, otherwise it just won't work. In the last block there is filebit output function, which sends parsed logs further to logstash. It uses a simple Kubernetes resource to communicate with logstash. There are just two fields, input and output. Input takes logs from file bit and output sends them into Elasticsearch. Logstash uses its own plugin to communicate with Elasticsearch. 
The first field is host, it's a link to Elasticsearch Master. The second is index, it's an index where you should store the logs. And the last field, just credentials for Elasticsearch.